This is not quite in your usual line of work, but I hope you can help me just the same. A rival collector has an item which I very much want to add to my collection, but she stubbornly refuses to consider any of my offers. She and I have had our differences over the years, I admit. Now she is taking this opportunity to get her revenge. I believe that you may be able to persuade her to part with the item, where I cannot due to her prejudice against me. Are you interested? Very good. I hope you will succeed where I have so far failed. Her name is Herminia Sinner. She lives here in the Imperial City, in the Elvin Gardens district. She fancies herself a student of the Eliads, although she sadly lacks any aesthetic instinct whatsoever. Be that as it may, she has come into possession of an ancient relic known as the Crown of the Eliads. Your job is to acquire it for me. Here is more than enough gold to buy it at any reasonable price. You may keep whatever you do not use as your fee. Okay, so we need to go into this woman's house to get the crown off her that she apparently has. This should be fun, and this butler just rudely interrupted me while I was trying to get out of here. Farewell. Now, I suggest you read the inscription if you haven't already, since there's multiple ways you can do this quest. We are doing the one I consider to be the good one, whether it is or not is up to you, but we are going to not give him the proper crown, because if you do, it makes him turn an, an enemy straight away and gives him powers. So we won't. We'll give him the fake crown, which you'll see soon. So let's just find this woman's house. Now, I already have the key, but you could just pit lock it. It's only an average lock. And she is up these stairs. Now it's actually in the chest um, right there, but I'm actually going to talk to her because she will um, tell you some things, so let's see what she has to say. It's time for you. Herminia Sinner. You want to buy my alien crown? It isn't for sale at any price. Save your breath. He's the only one who knows I have it. I will never allow the crown to fall into Umbacano's hands. Far from it. His interest in the aliens is not that of a mere scholar. He hopes to unlock the secrets of their magical power. And if you know anything about alien ruled Cyrodiil, that should make you very uneasy. I'm afraid I don't know for sure. I wish I had a more persuasive answer, but hear me out. The crown of the aliens which Umbacano wants is not simply an ancient work of art. It has certain superficial magic powers, true, but its real power is hidden. However, my studies of the ancient text make clear that it is the key to dangerous magical powers which should be left dormant. Yes, I understand. He wants an alien crown, but does it have to be my alien crown? What if you brought him another crown? My own research into the late alien period suggests that there was not a single alien ruler, but many. They were a bitterly divided people, with many warlords vying against each other for power. Their ultimate demise was wrought by their own civil strife, at least as much as by the rebellion of their human slaves. My crown, the one Umbacano covets, belonged to the ruler of Nenalata. I've learned of another crown, entombed with the last ruler of the rival city of Lindai. Since Umbacano has never laid eyes on the real crown of the Aliads, I doubt he could tell the difference. In any case, the other is also a real Aliad crown, just not the right one. I think we could all sleep better if you brought him Lindai's crown instead of the crown of Nenalata. Here, I happen to have the key you'll need to enter the royal burial chamber in Lindai. 
I hope you'll make the right choice. You too. Okay, so once we have fast travel to Lindai, all we have to do is get the crown. Now it's actually in this room, I've skipped right to the end of this room, so just to mess about with in the cave to um, find it, which is fairly easy. Um, you'll actually come across this little um, chest. Now the corpse right there is a ghost, but you'll come across this um, cask even, and just open it and you will find the crown. Crown of Lindai. Which has a couple of magic things. Well, three actually, which are not that impressive, but we have found out, now we have to go to Umbacano to complete my task. So let's go get out of this cave. Now there's not much enemies in here, apart from, um, I think there's skeletons, there's a ghost, um, I think that's maybe about it. There might be some zombies, I can't actually remember. And there's obviously a few trapped. As with most caves. So we'll head back to his manor. Okay, so let's see what he has to say when we give it to him. And that kind of sounded wrong. Good day. Have you brought me the... Interesting. These markings are unexpected. The royal glyph is not as described by Sorkalin. But no matter. This is clearly authentic alien workmanship. Later ages have never seen the like. To think that I hold the very crown that once graced the brow of the last alien king... Even to gaze upon it would have been death to any one of the lesser races in the old days. I thank you again for your efforts. I have one final task for you, if you are still willing to face danger on my behalf. In order to bring my research on the last king of the aliens to its final stage, I need to go to the throne room of Nenalata. While I am not without means of defending myself, I believe you would be an invaluable companion on such an expedition. Your reward will be whatever plunder you wish to carry off from Nanalata. Since the throne room has been sealed since the time of the Aliens, it should provide rich pickings. Very well. Three days, then. Don't be late. Remember, I will be expecting... Ah! Okay, so he has arrived and we are now got to protect him from the lubes that are in this cave. Now, um, you might actually, he says to wait three days while going to that cave. Um, I actually, I travelled back to his manor and um, f after three days and found he wasn't there and then travelled back and he appeared. Um, since it took longer than three days for him to appear on me anyway. So, you just wait until he gets in this room. And he walks pretty slow, which is annoying. Sometimes he'll run, sometimes he'll just walk. So let's just get him down these steps and see what he says. This is it. Just as Sorkelin described it. Follow me. Of Ariel, ye Tamriel, Delavoy, and Arpin Arantanabai. Here it is, the throne of the last king of the Eliots, and so it falls to me to begin the restoration of our ancient glory. 
of Sunatam Riel, Octavoy, and Arpen Aran Malaburo! And as you can see, because he's stuck on the rival crown that we gave him, the um, people, well, he got killed basically from the little stones that shocked him. And that's what he gets for May messing with ancient feet. powers. Actually, it's quite funny, like his head's just tilted. You can actually steal the crown, um, I believe it is a bit damaged, it doesn't have any powers in it anymore, but you can still take it. I took it just because I did. I also decided to take the book and some gold. Now I actually kill I tried to keep killing his um guard just because he had um some loot or something on him. I thought he looked he looked like he up, but it's just a bunch of skeletons that um pop up and by um, when I say a, a bunch I mean like quite a bunch. And you can actually quite get overwhelmed if you're a low level. But it does turn out that this guy really doesn't have that much to hand over. So um, that's that quest done. It's really simple, you don't have to turn it into anyone. You c I actually went back to um, his manor and one of the guards actually just says they haven't seen him for a while because obviously he's dead. So um, if, you, you try, if you're hoping to be able to, to take over his little manor, well you can't. So um, more videos coming out soon, I will be doing more walkthroughs to do like um, Splinter Cell Conviction and other ones, um, maybe a Red Dead Redemption playthrough thing, um, and some other ones. So I will see you guys soon, bye bye.